Hi, this is Mohsin Pathan from Fundridge Tool. Today I am going to show you how to use the interaction diagram feature in Fundridge. This is the folder where the Fundridge software is. You have to click this file Fundridge 2.1.1 or any other version .exe. Now we have an Excel file which contains two sets of genes. Gene list 1 and gene list 2. We are going to open this file in Fundridge. To import a list of genes in Fundridge, you have to click the button Add Data Set. Then you, should, you must give a name for the data set. For example, Set 1. And to import the list of genes, you can either go to Excel and select all the cells you want to import and copy and then click paste and then apply this will import the 70 genes you have selected to import gene list 2 from column 2 into fundridge you can either select all the genes you want to import and copy and paste just the way I did one minute ago or you can close the Excel file and add a new data set in Fundridge and give a name for the data set for example set 2 and open the Excel file then you have to select which column contains your desired gene list for example you want to take all the genes from column 2 so you must select column 4 gene or protein column 2 then you have to select this checkbox skip the first row when your column has a header then click read and apply this will take all the genes from column 2 then you click apply and you will get a new data set To generate interaction diagram, go to interaction model tab and click the button interaction and select the set you want to generate interaction diagram for. Then it will give you an interaction diagram. You can zoom in and zoom out using mouse scroll and also navigate to different locations of the diagram. If you click mouse right button on the empty space, you will get an option to change the layout. Like this is planetary layout. This is circular layout. This is square. And this is packed. In this diagram, if you want to focus a particular gene of interest, you mouse right click on this node and click focus this node. This will rearrange the diagram where your particular selected gene will be at the center. You can go back to original diagram without any focus by mouse right clicking on the empty space and click refresh with no focus on the right side of the diagram you will find the list of pathways selecting one or more pathways in this list will highlight the associated genes you can remove highlights from this diagram by right clicking on the empty space and clicking on clear highlights to change the color and size of those circles and text levels, you have to mouse right click on a node and click edit appearance. Now you can change the color and size of those circles, their borders or levels. Similarly, if you want to change the appearance of all the highlighted nodes, you have to select any one highlighted node and change the color and size. If you want to create a unique appearance for a particular node, you can right click on the node and click create unique appearance. 
so now you can give particular color and size of that node and also you can give a name for that appearance model just like my model so this node has a unique appearance which is not shared by others if you want the same model to be applied to other nodes you can right click another node and click select appearance and also select my model and ok this way you can set particular appearance to particular nodes and if you want to get back the default appearance for this node you have to mouse right click and click on default appearance now you can get back the original appearance you can select one or more nodes by pressing and holding control key on the keyboard and clicking individual nodes or by dragging rectangle around multiple nodes after selecting you can move the nodes or you can create unique appearance or select appearance for those nodes you can also delete those nodes you can also create interaction diagram for selected nodes at first you have to select several nodes and then click new network so this will generate interaction network for three selected nodes you can also add other nodes who has interaction with these selected nodes from your data set or outside your data set in this new network you can see your selected genes the genes who have interactions with your selected genes outside and from your data set are given different colors there is a legend below this diagram right clicking on the legend you can select and edit all the legend items if you are interested in certain pathway you can select a pathway and right click on plot to new network this will create a new network for the seven selected genes on the specific pathway and you can also include other genes who have interaction with these genes from your data set outside your data set or you can also include other genes who are associated with this certain pathway on the right side of the diagram you can select one or more pathways and click on show nodes to get the list of genes who are associated with those pathways you can also click on select in diagram so associated genes will be selected in the diagram you can move them or select appearance for those nodes or you can create new appearance for those nodes to save main network or sub network as image file you have to click the button save and give a file name you can also close those networks by clicking the cross button one more thing to say there are two extra buttons on the top one is to change the object appearance you can also change object appearance by clicking on the node another button is to edit legend you can also edit legend by clicking on the legend that's all for today thank you for listening have a good day